There's too much light. My blessed mess forsaken! These fairy tales are much to please. So dull and dry, a lifeless dream. A broom bleak, I'll craft them dark to make them grim. That's my hallmark. My guts fill up with pretty tales. Their prissy cuteness never fails to make me puke. To lose my wits, to rot my teeth and give me fits. Now the rancid stale and foul despise the happy ending. Gross and nasty make me howl, so they may be offending. I'm here to build true tales of light, of fear and woe, bring back the light. I ain't dumb luck, a door of tuck, my humble goal is to run the I'll let this exposition of misguided royal antics speak for itself. As a result, I'm sure you'll appreciate my refined sense of humor more and admire my bloated sense of irony. Once, when wishing was useful, there was a princess so beautiful that the sun was astonished whenever it found her face. The beloved simple girl liked nothing more than playing with her favorite toy, a golden ball. One would think she'd aim higher. Why so sad, princess? Your tears would draw pity from a stone. Ah, you callous toad! I'm weeping for my golden ball. It's fallen into this deep, dark well. Lamentable loss. I'm a frog, by the way. How might I help? Fetch it for me. I'll give you money. No. I'll give you dead flies, or maggots, or whatever. Anything. If you promise to love me, let me sit at your table, eat off your plate, and sleep in your bed. I'll fetch your golden ball. I promise come to dinner soon. A talking frog with the strength of a retriever and a yen for intraspecies hanky panky. But she never hesitates. That's confidence or something, cause she's thinking, Frogs live in water and croak and can't hook up with humans. But, oh, princess, the well feeds into a cavernous country cistern, which is well-bred kin to a city sewer. But, hmm, those rats have to evacuate somewhere. Ribbit, 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 bit, bit. Which in frog means... Have you seen a thing that looks like the sun, only smaller? His frog friends presumably help him out. He finds the golden orb. Ah, uh, see you at dinner. My best evening clothes are damp. Hope that's not a problem. I'm here, my man, to dine with the princess at her invitation. If you'd like to keep your job and live to perform it another day, let me in. Without further ado. Forceful fellow! My hat! Some creatures have an aura of command, and others are meant to be ordered around by frogs. My friend, thanks for rescuing the golden ball. Without it, the princess would be desolate, inconsolable. What further may we do for you? No, no, your majesties. The princess and I have an arrangement. Nothing special required. I'm fine. No problem. I haven't had a decent meal in donkey's years, but no, I'll just nibble a morsel or two. Lift me up, will you, dear? Hmm? Must you come so close? You smell like the swamp. My eau de toilette is much admired. Push your plate toward me, sweetness, so I may share your food. The frog's presence is bearable, and he enjoys her food. But every mouthful the princess takes seems to choke her. Mmm, I like this direction. Well, princess, I'm tired. Let's go to bed. Uh-oh, it's senseless to ask the frog to behave. Fortunately, the princess takes him up to bed. Once you get used to the texture, they're not so bad. Cool and slimy makes for a nice change. Hey, what are you doing? That's not what... Hey, brute! 
You're human. And full size now. How nice. Yes, I am a king. A witch put a spell on me and made me a frog. Now you have lifted the curse. Come with me to my kingdom. Okay, sounds good. If you've said your goodbyes, we should be off. My subjects anxiously await our return. Really? I wouldn't have thought they even knew about me. What? The gate to the Frog King's realm looks extremely promising. A golden gate can only mean happily ever after, right? They'll be fine, no doubt. There are rarely more than two generations presented in a given tale. Here's why. It's simply not credible, and would therefore be distracting to posit more than one generation of these dopes as capable of reproducing. Let's move along. Princess always plays alone? That's entertainment? That's healthy? Does her family think she's autistic or slow? Are they the cause of this? A royal person with an unwholesome fixation on a solid gold ball may be an arrogant, spoiled brat. Let's see how that plays. Make it stinky. And well, hello everyone, back to American McGee's Grim. This is the, te the Frog King, and you can tell there's been a lot of changes to the display since, well, Season 2. Uh, there's, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's actually pretty fun, because for one, we can actually see now there's sort of a percentage now to the amount of world that we have corrupted, which is actually kind of a good way of being able to give some sight as to how close you are with your darkness at least, so... There's just a lot of little touches here and there in Season 3 that I generally like. It's it's basically like the full test of what they decide. It's sort of like they fully decided to start pushing what they could get away with and make. And it shows actually pretty well, I think at least. Not only that, but I think from a small editing standpoint, to me, Season 3 is probably, would probably be the easiest thing to, for me to do. Um, not only that, but as another small, tiny change that they add, um, anytime you ch convert something to darkness, there's little, small little tiny orbs that kind of, con like, kind of converge onto you, like. Oh, hello. Hmm. Oh. But as you can tell, we've already converted at least half the world so far in terms of what exists. It's a relative. This is a relatively small chapter right now. It's not a whole lot to deal with, but yeah, there's still much more. To, there's still more to see in this tale, so let's just move that further ado. Now that's what I was hoping to see. to love the frog? Hmm, doubt it. She wants her ball back, and she thinks a simple dinner date will satisfy her obligation. Make it rotten. So yes, our princess is already turning out to be much more of a brutish nature, nature really. Which would kind of explain why she was sort of forced to live alone, so to say. Play alone. Or fixation on a ball. Well, at least it gives a lot of explanations within content within context. And before you know it, when we were kind of close to getting there, a tree kind of get, gets in our way. Tragic, isn't it? I know. But well, much we can do at that point. But just well, move onwards. Also, Grim himself actually. Hello. 
Hello, Mr. Hello, alligators. I'll say this now, Grim himself has a few changes in his animations on pretty much everything he does. Um, basically the more of dark the more darkness he has, the bet the difference uh, the different movements he gains with his jumps, more so. So like I said, there's fine-tuned touches. Hey! Mr. Crocodile, where are you going with my secrets? Get back over here. That is rude. So yeah, secrets here are a little bit sneakier to get because, well, as you saw here, this little bastard kind of ran away with it. Kind of rude of him, really, if you think on it. I didn't quite appreciate him just running away with that. It's rude. Oh, well, either way, we still have a few other things we gotta deal with. And I kill myself unfortunately <laughs> but as you can tell we already have 90% of the world converted into this wonderful swampy hellhole of sorts kind of works so let's continue our way up and as you can tell we can already have it our grim here already has a new version of his jump which is a sort of a flip of kind of a nice little flip and well Further ado, let's continue on to let us move onwards. I might invite a cute creature over for dinner, but her huh? frogs are supposed to be slimy and gross. Let's get real. And he has a job to do. Ah! And with that, we now have a new scene. We knew we have sort of a interesting scene to deal with, so let us move on ahead. The frog, who's eager for tonight's dinner and would prefer to not be on the menu, looks for the golden ball. It should be a challenge. The cistern needs to be more like a fetid sewer. Make it gross. Let's tone down those colors. So yeah, welcome to the sewer level. Because, you know, yeah, you guys know how much I enjoy sewers, especially when they're just surrounded by frogs because, well, you guys just know how much I enjoy frogs as cleaners, of all things, you know? Like, they don't just make my skin boil in, like, frustration and whatnot. I don't know. We still have a little bit more to deal with, at least. So I'm attempting to get what I can up here and then leave off. Also, there's a beast statue down here. Oh well. Guess he shared this. I guess this sewer system probably linked down here somewhere, way shape or another. Where to figure? Yeah, also that's a sinking platform apparently. I didn't know that. Oh, that's just awkward. So yes, there's so much more for us to deal with, and this isn't just your regular old sewer of like evil and whatnot. No, 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 no. This is a sewer. This is a sewer with platforming. Joy, as you know, we all know how well I am with platforming. Never have gone wrong with that stuff. Nope, not whatsoever. Also, that was briefly the underneath the other side of the level I just saw. That's a interesting sight there. I suppose. Anyway, let's just I wanna get that bit of the wall before I go because I think if we go down that ramp that is a sort of point of no return. Slightly at least. For 
or I could just really suck at getting away from there. So whatever, let's just move on. We have a third of the world sort of mostly done, so let's deal with this. Also, I kind of also that that is a bunch of mucus just kind of dripping down our view. I haven't been I've been sort of ignoring that intentionally just because it's well, yeah. The joy is the sewers. There's just mucus and frogs everywhere. So now we have to kind of make our way up this, up in the sewer and dance through the frogs and the pipes and whatnot. I would be lying if I said I was good at this. I'm not. But I'm gonna try what I can to get out of here, to get us through this as quickly as possible. Also, don't touch the the flying like frog eggs falling down from the pipes. They'll just kill you. Why, you may ask? Because the game just, you know, felt like making your life miserable. Uh, please, no. Um, there is a secret up here somewhere. Yeah, there's a secret around the corner and I would be asked if I didn't, I would be bothered if I didn't know how to get over there. Actually, I think I know you have to go up to go down in order to get it, if that makes any sense. If I remember what we're supposed to do next, it's not going to be pleasant at all. Oh no. No, 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 it's not. As if I remember correctly, there is a... There is... There is something that's going to potentially ruin my chances. Kind of will give me a lot of grief and more than likely will keep me from getting a golden... Golden darkness from this. Also, that was... That was just a mean game. You made me think I could make it up there and tore my hopes, of, tore my hopes away before I got the chance to act upon them. Oh, and that was just bad, just bad timing in general. Joy. So you can tell we're at 72% already. There's not a whole left of this part of the sewers to like convert. Rest assured, there's still much more to do. I need to get on that pipe over there. I believe is what I need to do. Yes. Watch as, watch as your mad host does platforming in pipes, gets stuck in said pipes, and oh wow, I actually am legitimately. Can I get my finagle my way out of here? Uh... Oh, no, please. How am I? How did I get here even? Um. Oh, Bob! There we go. I was almost, I almost was afraid I'd have to restart the chapter. So, but I put you back down here if you fall. It's so, it's so mean this way. Oh, never mind. I had just had to go over there. Uh, okay, so here's where it's going to, here's where everything's going to get very, very difficult from here on out because we have to run basically, like now. -ish. The reason being is, well, the floor is rising, because the floor is lava. And you can't really t convert a lot of things well, because if you pause for a brief second, the current will kind of keep up with you. Ugh! So you kind of have to keep moving constantly like this. And it bothers me that you can't usually get av- NO! And here's the horrible part about all of this. You you mess up, you have to start over. Everything you convert up to that point doesn't count, which I think is really cruel that this game do that the game does this. All right, come on, let's get one good conversion done. All right. Just hurry it now. At least I'm a bit more ahead of the curve than I am than I was before, but even still, it's. Not helping. 
it up, please. Thank you. Please and thank you, go. Convert more and run. That's really the best I can say about this, is just convert what you can of this world and run for it. Also, don't fall like I have. Ugh, this is the worst. I suck at these at these sections so at the segments so much. Just because like I wanna I wanna meticulously get everything, but at the same time I get worried and concerned that I'm gonna mess up. And thus I fall and thus I get sad. As usual. What just happened there? Oh really, what 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 actually happened that time I, I don't actually rightfully know. But um I'm just gonna keep moving then at that point. Hopefully nothing bad will happen. Nothing will cause me to die for some reason. Ah, just this this level. This level just makes me sad. It manages every time I always fall. Every time I fall I have to restart because it just does Why do this? Grim, why do you do this? It doesn't do this often, but when it does, it is like annoying. Because there's no point to doing so. Ugh. Come on, just move, 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 move. Up platform so I can get up and go. And here's the thing if you are. If you don't move fast enough and you have to wait. You'll end up losing regardless just because the pl the <sighs> Yeah. Okay, come on. Move, move, move. Please. Dear God, move. Right. And see, that's, that's the annoying part is I pretty much died just before the end. So, let's put, let's get, let's be done with this place. Yeah, I, I f if it weren't for that running segment, this would have been done much sooner. So let's finish off with scene three and continue onwards. So when an unarmed amphibian comes knocking, he's never going to get in on his own. Let's make it multiply. Make it foul. Get it on. So now we get to have the joys of getting the Frog King inside, more so with his friends, while also dealing with his annoying friends that are just cleaners. Yeah, this... Uh... Okay, let's... Thankfully, at least the first part is not hard to convert, at least, because you still... There's a small area, and I believe at this point you can start getting rid of the cleaners, and if you move fast enough, you can get rid of them right away, which is always, always, always good. But we don't want to just start there, no. We want to make sure that this guy, this king has as many of his, like, amphibious friends with him. Also, the frogs that we converted will just follow us now. Why I... I guess because they're out of a job, they're bored, and they feel like they need companionship, I suppose. Oh, it's sort of a silly excuse in general, so let us just move on. It 
So, as you can tell, there is a secret there's a secret right here from the cutscene. But also, since we now have our gut our king having dinner, perhaps he may have decided to bring more of his subjects, so to say, with him. I, I almost got worried that that giant frog actually just murdered me and I was going to get... I won't lie, I probably would have started whinging at that point because that would have just been kind of utter bullshit there, to be fair. Also, we've just turned a lot of people into more frogs. And they're just kind of following us now because... Again, I presume because when you're nobility and you've suddenly just become a frog, you've lost all real meaning, meaning and decided, I'm just going to follow the closest person I figure, so I'll just follow this... Your dwarf person seems to just making a mess of the world. So yeah. Excuse me, giant frog, you're in my way. This place is looking quite not well. It doesn't look like as if this was originally inhabited by actual people. Any not anymore at least. Also. There are a lot of frogs just kind of just slamming into the d wall of, this p of these people. Oh well. So let us just get even more frogs. And apparently these people... These people seem to love eating frogs as well. And there's frogs coming out of the chimney as well. If you haven't guessed it, there is a very obvious theme going around in this game. At least in this story. And I don't want to make it obvious, but I think it might be frogs. He's all affability and good manners at dinner. But some post brandial hijinks of an intimate nature are sure to be on offer for dessert. Nom, nom, nom. And that was scene three. So next, we'll call this for now. So next time, we'll continue onwards with the other half of this tale. So till then, everyone, take care. Bye. Bye.